All right, what's going on, guys? Sam Piper XP here with some Paper Mario: The Thousand Year Door. I am super excited for this game. It's considered one of the best Mario RPGs, or best Paper Mario. I've watched a little bit of it. I want to. I want to actually experience. It. I want to actually experience how it plays, and I want you guys to enjoy uh, watching me play it. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's go ahead and get into it. Close that curtain. Let's go. Save this file. Start. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. Oh, it's a fish. But one day, a tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. The word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogue Court. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogue Court, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Music is peak. Peak music. Oh, look how good it looks! Oh my gosh! Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stiffly. Once in a while, I'd like a chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town is very young. Distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. Oh, that was someone else. My bad. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? The box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, I want so much to budge if one such as me touches it. Ooh. Box hold for you, Missy, then you may have whatever's inside. <laughs> Go on. Hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh. Mario's house. Par carry! Mail call! Luigi! Oh, look, it's the old crew in a picture! That's so cute! Hey, bro, check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you! Oh! <laughs> I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem, now let's see here. Yeah, I can definitely read that. Uh, hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into a possession of a mystical map, a treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roadport. 
But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Roeport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Oh. Yo! Wow! Wow, 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 wow! That looks so good. A prologue, a rogue's welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogueport. Look at it in all its glory. You see? We'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Look at that save blocks. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about rope board on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry. You see there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Gooses. Wow. Oh, wow. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing asking, so be a good little suit and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little ass like you met with an untimely demise. Bah, 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 ha, ha. <laughs> Wow. Boys, we're talk taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump. We're on it. No, no. Stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Alright, well, let's go. Ain't no way. Like I'd go anywhere with Smelly Loose. Just like, <laughs> not likely. Mario's just like, oh, oh, she done called y'all out. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Well, well, I don't even know what I got into, man. I'm just here. Go. It's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old Krumpa Bomb. Oh. Oh. Can't flee this fight. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Sounds good. Sweet, you know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Ooh, I got my guard. Oh, bam! You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Huh, huh. Got team. Give me them star points. You did it, you did it, yes, and you got star points. That's what these little things are, star points. Why did he do that? 
He's like, hmm? <laughs> the star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, you got a couple decent shots and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! What in the hell? We're getting jumped! We're getting jumped! Punish him! Quick! This way! Phew! What a bunch of bozos! Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Oh! Oh! bunch of idiots right there. Stupid. Oh! Stop! <laughs> Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? I don't know. What? Uh, crud, they bolted. Oh, I love it. Whoa, mister! You totally saved me, thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. Oh, no. Oh. Oh! <laughs> My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. Mario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here! Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Oh shit! <laughs> they got jumped back there! Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. The boss sends us how's that road taste, punk? It's nasty. Are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks! We won't forget this. What in the name? <laughs> well, I mean, I know this place is called Roadport, so I should have expected it. Sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Oh, I got the map for that. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? <laughs> whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh, it's... Is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great Oh, it's Toad's Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? Ho ho! So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you in this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, oh, indeed! Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. Oh, yeah! You're asking me- Oh, hold on, I gotta yell at- Ah! You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my off air for one moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Oh! You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. What? But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely! But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop in... In! Ho oh, oh, ho, yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Uh, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone, then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went on to find the treasure on her own? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for that treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joins your party. A 
A primer. When you approach people, or you may you see an icon appear over Gumbella's head. All right. That's Gunther, the Goompa. But he's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, or objects. Press X to learn about a location. This is Railcrit Square. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some in interesting tidbits. Try using your ability whenever you can. I've mastered them. Can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with headbonk or look up an enemy's HP and weakness with her tattle ability. Sweet. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Franklin, and he looks like this. Oh, before I forgot to mention it. From here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Do you smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeed. He looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that that's any of your business. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Alright. What are you doing, sneaking up on a person as he sings joyfully? joyfully. Well, who, me? Uh, you ask about? Ah, I'm called Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor, the richest man in Rogueport. Interesting. Okay. Oh no. You two, not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me, made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear me? Contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What are you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new con, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine. You oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a contact lens. Oh, lordy. Hey, you got any contact lenses? 
<laughs> you <wanna> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I need a contact lens. Gee, fell on sorry, but I have any stock right now. Tough luck, I know. Like special order one, right? But, but it will take a while. I'll check back soon, okay? Oh, God. Stop talking. Stop talking. So I can get all the way up to... That's pretty good. Guess I'm going this way. This dude just... Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you! The guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Uh... You just stole my money. Hey, what's up, man? Oops, uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back here. Thank you. You deserve that. Just know that. You deserved it. I'm an outsider. Merlin? Up, man. <laughs> Darkly, I like to place and I'm done talking for now. Are all bonky? Yeah, okay. There you are, Professor Frankly. 
What's up? Who's there? Who wants me? Oh, yes, you, yeah, uh, you, uh, went for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I get it right. Uh, that's not Goombriel. Uh, that's not Eliza Goom. Uh, uh. Ah, I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Oh, yes, sir. That's me. I'm Goombella Jr. You Goom. Go Goombas! Of course I remember you. I'm not trying to toot to my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. Yeah, okay, man. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... <laughs> Who? Mario, Professor. He's Mario, you know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I have such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Roeport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you takes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Oh, I lost this old man voice. I lost the old man voice, hold on. Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary tre treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Uh, good point! Well, well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should try by addressing what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's infinitely vast treasure hoard, others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously, it's impossible to find the truth among them. But all agree on one point, to find the treasure, you must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take that seven, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must find- you must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold on, hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door, then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be! And we're in luck, it seems the Thousand Year Door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had the map! But we do have a professor, or, well not we exactly, Mario has the magical map. What?! <laughs> really?! You, you actually have it, could I... Could just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Sure. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! Thanks. You, son, are my hero! You're a great, fantastic, wonderful even! With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up to the front of the thousand year door! Right on, Professor! Good golly, where are we doing just sitting here then? Gobella, Mario! Let's take the magical map to the thousand year door! Off we must go! This instant! I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town! Ha! <laughs> Old man needs to go. Alright. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down into the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Alright, alright, old man, calm it down. Oh, wait, hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action? I mean, hell no, I'm good. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe? No, I'm good. A bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. When your partner attacks, match what's shown on the screen. And guarding per se in time with your opponent's attack, if you can remember that, you'll be fine. 
Right, now down we go. Just a stand on the pipe, press A to internet. Yeah, yeah. Wee. Save lock. Looks like I can come back down here with a bomb. Hey, hey, man, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz your way into our underground? Typical. You surface little snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. You can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of, port of a port town apiece. If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What, you too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get them. All right. Let's give him the work. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a pair of Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about in that is the fat fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See the spike on his head? We'll jump on that, and you're the one who will take damage. The pair of Goomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach him. You'll have to jump for him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 I don't know, dude. Oh my gosh. You can press Y to change the order of you two attacking. Alright. Too soon. Hammer going. Dang, hers is funky. I got his timing down. Goombella's, I don't. Oh, yeah! Thanks for the money. Chump. Ha! Later on, losers. That felt awesome. You ready, Mario? There are plenty more where they came from. No have all it in for have it all in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them all in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as you go on into battle. Yes. Can't go down here yet. Huh. I struck first. left behind oh, I got a mushroom yes I know how items work I 
I gotta time her boing. There we go. I gotta time that head bonk better. Got to time that head bonk better. Fire flower. Can't do anything about that yet. Down the pipe we go. I said there's no way I can destroy that one. Got him. I get that level up in here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm getting like six star points. Her one ain't terrible. There's a key up there. Bad way to I got a black key. People thought they were doing ray tracing because you can kind of see the reflections in them, but I heard it's not actually ray tracing. What are you? Hey, hey you! Can you hear me? You can! That must mean you're the hero of legend! Oh? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See? Long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you want hope to get those bad boys. So first off, you should look for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy wouldn't know anything about crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Mm. Well, I know my vote goes to finding the key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting you, oh le great legendary hero. Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big! Yes! Thank- Ha! Thank for nothing! Wee! <laughs> Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! Well, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little suffering after dirt in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Bugly, bugly, woo, you're cursed! Wee! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You wanna hear all about that sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, it'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee! Triple E! Yeah. Except for the rest of your days under my terrible curse! Wee! I can't help but chortle. You're doomed! What does chortle mean? This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I will owe you to an ex explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y and BAM! You're a paper airplane! You control your tiny paper airplane by by self by tilting forward and back. The plane will rise if you tilt in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting too much, you'll go slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting. Timing is key.
Alright, that's easy. When you've had enough of airplane shame, press B to the plane and get back to normal. So to be honest, do you fully understand the peril the skirts is bestowed upon you? Yeah, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> So, uh, wow, just wow. What was that guy's beef? I don't know, but I'm on an airplane now. Let's go ahead and test our new ability. Look at that. Alright. Oh, Mario Kumbella, look at that! Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. Come, let's move closer. Professor, what's going on? Oh, I'm getting a power up like you wouldn't believe. Location of Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Um, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Professor, the map. What was all those strange lights? Hmm. This looks like information related to the location of a Crystal Star. In that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another. You should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I need to go back. Don't, don't fast travel me. You bastards. Hmm. Aha, I see. Look, Mom flying. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is, this map is truly astounding. Somehow this map contains radar-like functions showing, yes, the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, there is an area of very vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did not come up, did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious, how did you get that map badge? Anyway. For Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness said this to you, Mario. This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her to told her about the crystal star and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It does seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. Oh god, those eyes. Ah! <laughs> you know, Professor, there was a suspicious, suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm. But I can't imagine the Princess Peach getting involved with them. 
All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Metals you go. You two go. Princess Peach and Dean went there. Your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collected the crystal stars is a mean soon end. And that end is Princess Peach. Thanks. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around Princess Peach. And that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens, if you saw advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Oh, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. On my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it will. Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? I'm sure I know what I can do. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No, thanks. Hmm, you're absolutely sure? Well, alright. Just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Got a power smash badge. It's called a badge, and it is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. <sighs> What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you ba first equip the badge. No, I know. Are you absolutely sure this is the last time I asked you want to practice? No. I see, then just remember this part for me. You must equip badges for them to take effect. By the way, you need flower points to use the power smash move in battle. You should watch not only your FP, HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to pedal metals. Alright, thank god. Hey there, kid! You gotta admit to learn what it means to fight, like a fight with your heart. What do you mean? I can see you're brimming with potential, kid, but there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, hitting a the big, there's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got a question for me. The Battle Master. Some third thing. Alrighty. Hulk Smash! Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. Let's go this way. You collect star pieces. Pretty lucky's not bad. What's in here? Hello? Merlovy. Mer. Merlov. Merlovely? Merlovely. Merlovely. I'm good. Star pieces everywhere. I need to go back down to that area because I missed a star piece. Stuck the landing. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. Got a blooper. Yeah. 
Look at him come down. Boop, 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 boop. Who just went up and whacked someone's tootsies like that? Boop, boop, boop. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Boop, 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 boop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Bloopity bloop, blue. He's in a world of hurt. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. The tentacle tramble. You can press Y to change. Hey, mustache. Bloop, 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 bloop. You're thinking that tastes good, aren't you? Admit it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn blooping. Blue ha! Bingo time. Can we not get a poison? Okay. Down he goes! Down he goes! That's fine. Equip it. The toads are going crazy. Go ahead and tattle them. Got 12 HP. Gross. Okay, so the tentacles have 3 HP. Power within. Oh, I missed it that time. You gonna go back up? Bring out the tentacles. Oh no. Still got rid of it. I like how you actually see him crouch in this game. Alright, can I get the star thing? That'd be cool. Bingo time. Over. Good job, Goombella. Damn. Oh, yeah. Almost a level up. Boom. He's over here. <laughs> <laughs> 